Tell him to bring out the Kiesel. Tell him to bring out the Kiesel. <laughs> okay, welcome back to Thick Rift Thursday. Uh, my entire For You page on TikTok is DJ Khaled. <laughs> Call me Asparagus. Oh man, where's my guitar pick? I need a guitar pick for this riff. Oh, there it is. Those of you that follow me on social media know that this guitar is my first six string guitar that I've owned in like eight years. I think I got this back in November of last year. And since then I've just been playing in like standard and drop D sometimes. And I've really enjoyed it. And this guitar is so much fun to play. But last week I picked it up and I accidentally pulled back on the whammy bar as I picked it up and it popped the high E. And when I put new strings on it, I was like, you know what? I haven't played in drop C in a long time. I would love to riff in drop C. So that's what we're doing today. We're riffing in drop C. So beefy, dude. So chunky. There's actually a really old idea that I wrote. It says it in the SoundCloud title, August of 2014, almost 10 years ago, which is crazy. That's insane. That would make me 18 years old when I wrote this. It's a riff. It's actually a few riffs. It's quite a long, quite a lengthy idea. And it's all cool. It's all awesome. It's a really awesome idea. And it sounds like <laughs> because I recorded it when I was 18. My stuff just didn't sound good back then production wise. So yeah, I started relearning this riff uh, last night and I really want to re-record it. And you know what? It's It's got a lot of stuff in it, this demo. So I might do this over like a couple videos. Um, there's a solo and everything. So yeah, I'm definitely not going to get all of this done today. So here's what the demo sounds like. Yes, and that just fades out. I wrote this idea right when I got, um, I got this beautiful Music Man JP6 with the uh, Mystic Dream finish on it. And I loved that guitar. That guitar was incredible. That guitar inspired this build for sure. And I wrote it like right after I got that guitar. And that's what this acoustic is at the end is that piezo system on the JP6. Hey, if you guys are interested in watching extended edits of Thick Riff Thursday episodes and even downloading the mixed stems from the Thick Riff Thursday riffs, please consider clicking that join button down below and checking out the membership tiers I've made available. All right, back to the video. Anyway, yeah, I started relearning the riff last night. I didn't fully relearn it yet, but um, I at least want to do like this main riff. I want to do like this whole section and then at least the rhythm section for the solo. <laughs> I at least want to start that, so let's do it. Uh, there's a really fast run in there that I don't know how to play. Dude, what the f***? I actually used to be so good at guitar. What is this, man? Okay, yeah, so that's just the left side. So that's one harmony. Mm -hmm. 
What am I doing there? That's so fast. What's the right side sound like? Is it that? Is it just like... I think that's what I'll go with. Because <laughs> it's, it's pretty much just like, just nonsense. Damn. Okay, we'll, <laughs> we'll try it. <laughs> but that's fast. By the way, if you guys want to download these Archetype Nolly presets, go to architecttigerstudios.com and you can also contact me about my mixing, mastering, producing services. The link is in the description. Let's get the drums down for this first riff. Let's, okay, my goal for this video is to do the first riff and the second rhythm section. So no solo, but up until this point. Oh man, that's such a nice chord progression too. I'm so excited to get this idea down. Okay, so that is the rhythm of the fill. Let's get these actually in there. Rack tom, rack tom, floor tom, kick. That's gonna be like hi-hat. That's gonna be like bell. So it's like. Nice. And then we can put in the actual groove now. Okay, cool. And then let's program this, so let's. There we go. So the kick and snare and that drum fill are done. I just need to get the cymbals in there now. Was this just like a crash or was it? Was China. And then it went to the stack there. I think I might want this to be crash. Let's try it. Let's try crash at first. And if not, if it doesn't feel right, then we'll just switch it over to the China. I can go ahead and do drums for the solo section too. That way I'm done with drums. Okay, let's start on guitars, shall we? Let's start on guitars. That was so brutal. That was decent. Let's try, let's start trying to get the other side. Nice. What did we learn last week, class? When you're not good at guitar and you don't practice, push your takes back so they are not rushed. That's right. I can copy and paste that first bar. <laughs> Gibberish, there. That was a good one. And then let's just get the fast part. I mean, it's just gibberish, honestly. I mean, it's it, like, it's there. 
it's there. Like the speed is there. I just don't want it to be like, I want it to be relatively clean, you know? Okay, now let's get the higher harmony. That was good. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is Are these notes? Are these even notes? I'm not Jason Richardson, all right? I'm just not. I was I was much closer to being Jason Richardson at 18 than I am now at 20. How old am I? About to turn 27. I'm just gonna literally just play it as fast as I can. <laughs> that was okay. Let's get the first half in there to hear it in context. I was, I was a little early. I was a little early, but you know what we do when we're early. Boom. I mean, look, it just, it, the, the pick attack is there. That's really, that's what the important thing is, is that the pick attack is there and I'm kind of playing notes. I'm kind of playing notes. Oh, I harmonized the rhythm part too. Um, yeah, yes, like that, but way better. Okay, everything but in that one, but the, um, but the first few notes. Now for the genty part, I love it. Let's do bass now. I'm gonna figure out what I wanna do for the bass part. I can do something like that. I know in the demo, in that space right there, I do a bass slide, which is cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, pretty good. Right there. Great take, brother. Dude, nice. Yeah, this riff bangs. Like Joey Votto. Man, I used to be so good at guitar. What happened? Listen to that run. That was so clean, man. I'm, okay, you know what? From this moment forward, take this as a, as a commitment to getting better at guitar again. I'm gonna practice. I used to learn so many songs just like way out of my league, like songs that like I should not have been e like even trying at that point. Like just like crazy John Petrucci solos, like crazy like Jason Richardson riffs. And like, it made me so much better at guitar. And you know what? I'm gonna commit to getting better at guitar again. Make it, make, Make guitar shred again. Make make Nick good at guitar again. That's what the hats are gonna say. <laughs> All right, let's listen to what we have so far. Let's put the mastering chain on there. Dude, it makes my heart actually like happy to hear this riff in HD. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy with how this is turning out so far. Let me know if you guys want me to keep going with this riff because look, I'm gonna keep 
recording this riff and it's up to you guys whether or not I have my camera on for that. <laughs> okay, I, I say this actually every week. I legitimately say this every week that I want to turn it into a full song. Uh, but I actually want this to turn into a full song and I missed playing guitar in drop C. Drop C is such a badass tuning and I miss it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Thick Riff Thursday. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Have a great week. Peace.